You ever wonder how a wire rope sling is made? Well, wonder no more. We're about to zap the mystery out of it for you. First, we begin with the unspooling of the raw materials. For this product, we will use 7 8 inch cable laid wire rope. Then we carefully measure the exact length of rope needed to produce the correct finished length sling. This manufacturing procedure is called Flemish Eye Splicing a Wire Rope Sling. I know that sounds made up, but uh, trust me, it's for real. Before clamping the rope into a work holding vise, a steel compression sleeve is slipped onto the end of the rope. Then the rope is unwound to seven lays that will render the correct eye size. Go ahead, get along little doggy. After setting the eye, the strands are reassembled in the reverse of their original position. This technique provides a friction hold to the splice. After tidying up the tails, a compression sleeve is placed firmly over them and checked for correct engagement. Next, it's off to swaging. A thorough lubrication of the dies before commencing is always needed. Now, with a half million pounds of brute force, the rigger compresses the sleeve until it squeals for mercy or to just the right diameter. After a quality check to confirm the correct diameter, we're good to load test. In this step, the hydraulic proof testing machine the rigger will apply 150% of the sling's working load just to be sure that this work is first class. Some guys just know how to wear a tank top. With every product we manufacture, the last thing we do is put our gold mark on the piece as your assurance that it passed all of our quality checks. All right, now, get in that crate with the rest of them. You have a big lift to make in the morning. Sweet dreams, wire rope sling. Sweet dreams. And now that you've learned about this impressive product from Tway, like us on Facebook and follow us on LinkedIn. I mean, I don't want to live your life for you, but uh, why don't you go do that right now? <laughs> Please. I mean, you don't know, there might be a cookie in it for you or something.